Hello, we are back on Farming Simulator 22. This is our How to Get Started series. Hi, I'm Farmer Teacher. What we're trying to do is follow along with the Farming Simulator Academy to give you an idea of things you could do when you get started. Now, when you first turn on Farming Simulator Academy, uh, usually you're going to be in the new farmer mode. And there's three main categories uh, that you're going to be working on in the course of your farm in the long run. The first one, of course, is agriculture. Agriculture, just like this field has wheat in it. Agriculture is simply seeding, planting crops, and then taking care of them during the course of the season, such as fertilizing and weeding, maybe putting some lime out or plowing or whatever it needs. And then finally harvesting with something like this piece of equipment right here, and then taking that to the market and selling it. And you get money for that. And that's agriculture. Now, if you start in the new farmer mode, you're going to have the basic equipment on most maps to get started with agriculture. And that's what I recommend you do. But the other categories are, the second one is animal husbandry. Animal husbandry. And that involves uh, raising animals, such as chickens, cows, pigs, sheep, and horses. So what you're going to do there is you raise those, and you take them to the market, uh, cattle, you can have beef cattle or dairy cattle and different kinds of things there. And and that's pretty much it. So you're focusing on that. Now, that's expensive to get into, uh, except for maybe chickens. Chickens aren't too bad. Sheep are next, I guess. But a cow pen is really expensive, except for a really small one. So it's harder to get into that. But some of the mod maps have them already on there. Okay. If you're not interested in it to start with, it's okay. Your animals aren't going to die. They just won't produce anything. Okay, they'll just sit there if you don't feed them and don't take care of them. It's okay. It's okay. I was worried about that. If they're going to die and I'm going to have a pen full of dead animals, no. They're just going to sit there and carry on, uh, but they don't, they're not productive if you don't feed them and water them and stuff. And the final category is forestry. Forestry is what it sounds like. You're getting some trees and cutting those down and taking those to the market for money and it has different production points you know for that different things you can do okay now if you just started a new map and you're brand new to farming similar to 22 uh one of the things you can do is look around the map of course and there are collectibles that you can go on the map and get a thousand dollars each when you find them However, one of the best ways to get rolling are contracts, or contracts. Uh, so in farming similar to 22, you can have three contracts at one time going. And let me just show you how to do that. So if you're going to look it down at your controller, the little button with the three lines, press that. And this menu will come up and you're going to go down using the LB or RB button. You're going to go down to this one right there with two pieces of paper. Okay, and that's going to show your contract. So right now, there's two contracts for fertilizing. Okay, we're just going to do one so I can show you. So what I'm going to do, you got two choices. You can either accept it and use your own equipment. Well, I don't have a fertilizer right now. My farm is brand new. I haven't bought one yet. And it's always good to borrow theirs anyway. Then you have to fool with it when it's over. So I'm going to borrow these for a small fee. So I'm going to hit Y. Boom. Okay. Now those pieces of equipment, this is for field two. Those pieces of equipment will be up at the shop. So I'm going through my equipment here and there it is. Okay. So it has this little tr small tractor. A weight. Now, on the fertilizing contracts, it's going to tell you to put fertilizer in there. What I'm going to do is have my menu. Let me just show you this real quick. Uh, with the three lines, hit that. Okay, and I'm going to go down a couple of more to this one, the settings. And at the bottom, where it says buy fertilizer, that's the default anyway. I'm going to have that set on buy fertilizer. And what that means is instead of using what's in the container, it's just going to magically spray fertilizer and then charge you for it. Okay, let me get him to field two. So 
I got to look on the map here. This is your drive map. Zoom out. It should be flashing and it's way up here. Okay. So I'm not going to take you all the way through that, but basically I'm going to, I would take him up there, fertilize that field. Well, we're going to cut and I'm going to do it. So we'll be back in a second. Okay. I've just finished my contract. I just finished my contract, I think. So if I hit the three lines again and go down to contracts, it says completed. So if I hit the X button, that will collect my money. Boom. I just got $606 for completing that. And there you go. I'm a, I'm ahead a few hundred dollars from where I was. So that's how you do contracts. Now you can, like I say, you can have as many as three at a time. And it's important to check those every day because they change and maybe during the course of the day, they change all the time and based on the season, there'll be different things to do. Okay, next up is your equipment. Your equipment, uh, you're gonna need some things on the base map there. You're gonna need a tractor, of course, on any map to do some work with. On the base map on Elm Creek, under New Farmer, you have three tractors, which is pretty good. Uh, you're, they might need a weight in the front you're also going to need a cultivator, and that's what's in the back of here. You're going to need something to plant it with. This is another tractor you have with a weight. This is a planter. Now, plant, I mean, I'm sorry, this is a cedar, and a cedar is different than a planter. A uh, cedar, let me just show you real quick if I connect this. Okay, cedar does the grain type crops, okay, such as if you look at the very bottom there, the little icon, or on the top left, the little help menu there. Right now it has wheat in there, barley, oats, canola, soybeans, sorghum, oil, seed, radish, which is not really a crop, it's a fertilization crop, grass, and back to wheat. Those are the things you can seed with this item. Planters do other things, such as corn and sunflowers and some other crops, cotton, and so forth. So when you start out, you can't do those, only the ones you see listed on here. And your harvester will harvest these crops, okay, as it is. Okay, so next, you need something to pick them up in, a little trailer like this one, okay? And this is your third tractor for Elm Creek, New Farmer. Uh, so you have a trailer that you're going to take your goods to your silo and or take them to the market. Okay. And this one has a pickup truck. Uh, sometimes I get in a tight and have to sell that. <laughs> I use it as like, you know, but you can also, you know, haul some stuff in it. You might cut a tree down and when you first start out and put wood in the back and haul that to the market. And you're going to need a harvester such as this bad boy. And the harvester, of course, has to have a header that you see sitting in front. To do those other crops I'm talking about that you plant with a planter, such as sunflowers or corn, you'll need a special header for that. It goes up here uh, for those two. Okay. Now, if you hit the button with the two squares on it on your controller, you're going to come to this menu and you go down to using the LBRB buttons to the thing that looks like a little house there. And it shows all your equipment and they may or may not have subcategories such as tractors. If you click on medium tractors, we have three and it shows you all your stats on, on those things. Note the horsepower. That's important when you go to buy some something new. Your harvester there shows you what you have, your car, your trailer, your header goes with the harvester. And we only have one of these. So that's all you see there. But if you click on it, it'll show you some stats. So like an example on this a cedar, you need 125 horsepower to pull that. Uh, when I first started, I went and bought the next size up and I needed 220 horsepower to pull it and none of my tractors would pull it. So be careful. Uh, that's why you have those stats in there. So it's pretty realistic uh, from that perspective. Okay, now this base equipment that you have is enough to get you started. You can get going on your farm but there are some other things you're going to need okay you're going to need a fertilizer for sure uh, and you might need a weeder if you have weeds turned on you may even need a stone picker or a plow so there's some other things you're going to need from that menu 
that you don't have yet. We'll talk about those in the next episode. All right, that's it for this one. Uh, give us a thumbs up. Hit that like button down there. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And share this with uh, your farming buddies. And if you're a newbie, uh, you know, share it with the other newbies. And if you're a pro, comment down below. some, uh, Give us some advice here. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.